All right, good day, everyone. Um, we're here doing ground switch and positive switch basics. This is looking at having power come to the switch, either from the ground or the positive side. OK, so there are two ways to control a load, the ground switch or positive switch. Ground switch connections are often used in automotive electronics. Many actuators are controlled by switching the ground on and off with the control module. Ground switch means that the switch is positioned on the ground side of the load. Positive switch means the switch is positioned on the positive side of the load. Let's look at this. Okay, so the switch is this right here. Looks like a door open. All right, and it's over here. Here we see it's on the positive side. Here we see it's on the ground side. Click on the lamp that is ground switched. Well, this is the lamp. Okay, measure the voltage between point A and ground and between B and ground on the positive lamp. So here's our positive side. Might as well just move our lead in place. Set our meter. We have 12 volts at A and no volts at B. That's probably because this switch is open. It's not allowing supply voltage through. So the voltage at A is 12 and B is zero. So this has to be our correct answer. Okay, A and B again on the ground and the ground switch, what happens? Let's move over our leads. A, we have 12 volts, the lamp. And on the other side of the lamp, we still have 12 volts. But we see here, the switch is open, so we're not able to connect the circuit. So that's why the lamp doesn't turn on. So let's see here, we are looking for A and B voltage at A is 12, voltage at B is 12, so that would be our right answer. The lamp does not receive, does receive supply voltage, but is not connected to ground, so the circuit is therefore not closed. What do you notice now? All right, let's get our leads out of the way. Turn off our meter. L2 only has a supply voltage, has a supply voltage if the switch is on. Yes, that's true. L1 always has supply voltage. Yes, it always has it. And there's always zero volts at point C. Yes, that's our ground. Where are ground connections often used? Well, I hear it says many actuators are controlled by switching the ground on and off with the control module. So it's an actuator and the ECU is electronic control unit. So that's our control module. Switch the relay on and off a number of times. Okay, so watch here. When I click this, this switch will close and the light turns on. Here we see our power go through. So it's making, it's being used by the lamp. Off, on, off. Okay, so at what point in the graph is where the relay is switched off to on? At this point, because the power is being used. Got to click right in the right spot to get that to work. There we go. And what point is the relay being on to off? There we go. And if you look here, this is in seconds. It's asking for seconds. You have a little corner missing here, but that corner is there. So it's about two seconds total. That's one, two, three. If you just move this over, it's two seconds.
All right, test the relay. Is it switched on? Well, you got to put your ground, your lead to the ground, turn on your meter, test, no voltage, no voltage, no voltage, and voltage coming in is 12. All right, so is this switched on? No, it's not. There's no voltage coming out of 86, 87, 85. I will have in the Google Classroom a handout for you to look at when it comes to these relays. It's pretty simple and explains what each of those points are for. Is the relay positive switch or ground switched? In this case, it's positive switch. OK, test the relay and evaluate the statements. All right, so we already tested it for the most part. Still all on zero. OK, so is the relay switched on? No. Is the relay switched off? Yes. Is the relay a positive switch? Yes. Is the relay a ground switch? No. All right, so that kind of takes you through this lesson. Um, just understanding how power works coming through a positive or a ground switch. As always, if you have more questions, send me an email or text me.